What's up, Internet? We are back from streaming Animal Crossing a few minutes ago, probably with a whole mess of technical difficulties. Uh, fun story. A couple days ago, my cat thought it would be really, really fun to dump a bunch of water on top of my equipment, and now this thing works maybe 10% of the time. So that's, that's just for... Uh... Okay, that time it actually did. Sometimes it's not actually resetting, and sometimes it's not actually like going and starting up. Uh, this might be the last legs of the Retron 3, which is a problem because I have to, you know, continue to do this. But uh, anyway, this is 401 Real Game by Cool Boy. This is a game I have meticulously covered all 403 titles on it over the past year and a half, and I figured since I've already done that, why not just review it? But you know, I, I've i thrown out most of my, you know, uh, data already just because, you know, it takes up so much space on my hard drive. So, we're going to play some stuff on here and uh, hopefully at least get an idea of what we're going to be doing for the review down the road. I guess we should figure out what I want to play first. Um, I'm thinking... Let's start... Easy. Let's go excite bike. But uh, I love multi carts. I, I wish they were a little easier to get a hold of, especially if you're looking for something specific. But in this town, video games in general are just a pain in the ass to find. But multi carts are, of course, a very fascinating look into a games industry that was very different from what we understand. I've said this countless times, but. Stuff like this only existed in places where the NES did not. You know, China, Taiwan, Russia, like, places like that. They had to make their own knockoffs, and of course they had to make their own games, so what'd they do? Well, they either made compilations like this, that were usually half-broken and barely worked, or they made their own original stuff, which was usually awful. But compilations like this kind of allow you to see sort of the spectrum of what other cultures had. And it, it, it's fascinating as a cultural study, if nothing else. As well as seeing a whole different branch of the games industry you might not have ever necessarily considered. So, uh, multi carts, they're neat. They're also not very expensive. I mean, this cartridge I got in a set of two for, uh, like, ten bucks. Although this is a bad example of multi-carts, kind of, or at least a turning point in them. Because before this one, uh, a lot of multi-carts ended up being not necessarily one-off things, but they were very, very sort of bespoke. There, there was a sense of, if you saw a specific multi-cart, you'd never see that one again. And this one, which is... Really, if you look 401 up on eBay, you'll find a million shots of it. It's, it's, it's a multi-cart that contains footage of, like, uh, Resident Evil on the cover. And it's like, everyone's now selling this cartridge. And it, since the, these ones came out, it's sort of become a very, very common thing to see the exact same multi-carts over and over. And it, I think, takes away some of the polish of a lot of what made a lot of multi-carts special. That said, you know, we also exist in a time where, like, Game Boy Pirate Gaming is about where NES Pirate Gaming was a few years ago, where, you know, everything is still kind of one-offs, for the most part. There, there's a few exceptions, but for the most part, they're one-offs. And we're now seeing stuff like uh, Genesis and uh, Super Nintendo stuff try and fill that void a little bit as well, which is, you know, it's interesting to see how they turn things out, and of course NES pirating has come a long way since this cartridge, I mean, while this cartridge, as far as I'm aware, just in terms of sheer file size, is still like the biggest one on the market, uh, they've since really developed a lot of different sort of technologies around them, which allow them to compress more data, of course, but also finally allow the use of save files and stuff. It's, uh, it's good times, I think. I am really worried about my Famiclone right now, though. It's like, oh, I need this to work, 
and I, I feel like I need to reset the consoles just to play something else now since we've been doing this for like five minutes, but at the same time it's like, oh, the moment I try everything's going to explode and go wrong and I'm going to have to try and buy another one and I don't have money for that. But Excite Bike is fun. I could have been playing this on Animal Crossing though. But this version has all the copyright stuff removed, so that in and of itself is at least a little bit different than what you'd find elsewhere. Actually, what's interesting is there's a lot of uh, pirate games that have the copyright stuff removed. Like, that's, that's just common practice. But what's interesting is to sort of combat that, some developers, specifically Capcom, would end up setting up various games where if the copyright was tampered with in any way, suddenly the game was, like, impossibly hard. Alright, we won. Now let's reset and hope this works. Okay, it did. Yeah, like, it, it took me about two minutes to figure out how to, like, properly power this thing on, and resetting only worked, like, one every ten times. It would just crash the thing. I think this thing is probably toast. I'm gonna have to, like, try and take it apart and see if I can fix the buttons on it or something, because I think it is literally just the buttons on the outside. Let's play Schoon. Schoon's pretty fun. This game where you play as a pink submarine, who's an absolute jerk because it's not one of the lovely yellow ones. Also, you crash into the sea cucumber that gives you a lot of points at the start because I'm objectively bad. But Schoon's a fun yellow game. It's a nice little basic shooter. And we got a one up somehow. Ah, but we died. Because I'm bad. I don't know what the glowy things are. Okay. Uh oh. I choose to think those are friendly little dolphins who are playing with the humans and not sharks that are eating them. Actually, they look like orcas, but either way. I don't know what those people are doing down there. Left zero. I think Bubble Symphony's on this cart, or, or Bubble Symphony, uh, Bubble Bubble 2. I have to try and play some of that at some point. I know I definitely want to grab some like the weirder stuff, like Dian Shimali, but we got time. Uh, you know, the smart thing for me to have done would have been just to save all the numerous, numerous files of this I've got recorded. But I figured, you know, this would be fun to try and stream for a little bit anyway. You know, when I, I decided to do this whole pirate game series for my YouTube channel, which you should check out if you haven't already. Again, let's reset and hope it resets proper. Yay! You know, I've I left it up to the Discord to decide just because you know, I really appreciate people actively going out of their way to support my channel, and I like to sort of offer them something different, but I don't want to, like, just gate content out, so, you know, I... When I came up with this, I, I asked them if this would be cool, and I, you know, showed them all my, my multi-carts and asked them, you know, what would you want to see, and this was the one that was voted on. I didn't immediately expect the first one that they picked to be the longest one I had. <laughs> Wars! I think this is Penguin Coon Wars. Which is a terrible game. Yup. This is an awful game. Because penguins and I guess sort of vague dodgeball scenarios. This is not a game of skill, it's basically a game of luck. And it's just not very good. I mean, he almost won and just didn't because he wasn't quite lucky enough. This is a dumb, dumb game. And I believe this is Konami who made it because it's got a penguin in it. But I gotta admit, I just, of all the things Konami's put out on the NES, there's... I know everyone likes to talk about Castlevania and all that, and yeah, they made some good stuff, but... Genuinely, it was not 
always good. It was sometimes this. And that's about as much as that as I can stomach because the penguin couldn't worse. Ah, oh, what else should we play? I want to play something a little weird. Something you could only really find on a multi cart. Oh! Oh! Chitty Tankin! I want to play that. And if you have any interest in any of this stuff, go check out my YouTube channel. Also, you know, I'm, I'm just doing this on random, so if you got requests. I never quite figured this game out. I don't even know what this game's official name is, because I'm pretty sure it's not Chitty Tankin, but, uh... It's kind of an interesting sort of knockoff of Dig Dug, kinda. I'm still not 100% sure what you're supposed to do. Like, part of me thinks you have to collect all the eggs, which can sometimes turn into monsters if you leave them alone long enough. And then get to the end, maybe? I know that's a teleporter. I think I can hike the audio a little bit. It's a little low. I don't know why, but uh, the audio is normally a lot lower than it is when I record this. Even though it didn't seem to be. That might be another result of the cartridge, or the cartridge, the uh, equipment I'm recording on being toast. Uh, something I care not to think about. I mean, it looks like you get points for digging further away and just digging more, and that's cool, but there's gotta be some way to advance. Okay, that's a key, which I assume you need for a door, it looks like. Okay, we got something out of that. Because you can shoot as rapidly as you can in this game, it's, it doesn't quite have the same tension Dig Dug does. But it's a fun game. Grab this, again, I think treasure chest? Which just looks like we're getting... Okay, what do we got there? S. N. Okay. That did a thing. I don't know what that did, but it did a thing. Huh. Yeah, this this game is weird. Good game, though. Wish I knew more about it. Uh, let's see, what else would be fun? Adventure Island, a game that is just really ridiculously hard. Peep our time. Highlight special. No, I'm not gonna play Highlight. Thexter! Oh yeah, Thexter. I wish you could get Thexter on the NES, but it's only available as a Famicom game. Which is unfortunate, because Thexter's a pretty cool game. The DOS version is a lot better, though. For one thing, I think the shots track a little better. Actually, if you want to play Dexter on the NES, you really need to play the uh, Zeta kind of game. It's actually, like, Dexter mixed with, um, Afterburner. Which I've made a review about a long time ago. It was a good game. Not great, but it was interesting enough. It's been forever since I've played Dexter. I, I know I've got the, um, Dexter new version on the PS3. I've never played it because I can't run my PS3 anymore. The transformation, I, I don't like the combination. It's, it's like down and A transform in this game, which is a little awkward. Whoops. And this game does feel like it could use an extra button. This jump is up. Tony, holding the 
button down actually seems to be a lot more effective than just uh, going through turbo. I'll try again. Now that we know the trick that turbo is awful, we're not going to do turbo this time. And we're dead. Every time I reset, it's it's like a that's a clench moment. All right, uh, what would be interesting to record? What's something you don't normally see outside of stuff like this? I mean, I guess I could do a bunch of like nice code stuff. Oh yeah. I've never played uh, Lufia 2. I, I really want to play it, though. I got Lufia 1 this year, and it's probably one of my favorite games of the year. Let's see. Devil World. That's... Uh, yeah, what the hell. Because it's imported. This game's actually a lot of fun. Even though it is basically just Pac-Man. But we weren't allowed to have it because religion and shit. Uh oh, I need a cross. Oh no. Ice creams. I want ice creams. <laughs> well, three viewers, four viewers, that's that steps towards the right direction. Uh oh. No 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 no. Let's get that cross. There we go. Grab it. Grab grab grab. Crushed. Oh, come on. I didn't even see that one. There we go. Alright, now we gotta collect the Bible bits. Because, again, religion. Oh, this is bad for us. I wish I could get crushed like those ghosts and survive. <laughs> down there. I gotta try and remember to, uh, ah. Gotta try and remember to, uh, get some footage of Brush Roller, just because of how weird that has an opening in this cart. It's one of the three games that has just, like, the weirdest opening. Aww. Oh. I might still have a chance at getting that awesome, awesome bonus mode music. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, this game is stressful. Great game, though. Now we get the awesome bonus music. seconds of bonus music before it loops. <laughs> now bear in mind, I have a game on this cartridge where that's literally the entire soundtrack. It's a good song too, but it's, it's a little bit... It's a little obnoxious. Okay, let's, let's see if we can find... Let's see... Boot Cat. Uh, Sansu. We got a few of those Sansu games on there. Let's see. Wrecking Crew, Arkanoid, Challenger, DJ Boy. I want to say that's. I 
want to say that uh, what is it um, roller games red geobit that'd be a fun one but right now we are looking for let's see if we can find it brush roll here's one because we absolutely just needed to see this you didn't know you needed this in your life but you absolutely did this game's not very good. But that weird deformed smurf from the intro totally makes it worthwhile. Actually, I think this is a pirate game of a different pirate game altogether, too. Showing how weird pirate games can kind of inbreed at times. That was worth all of one point, by the way. Because the UI in this game is just weird. Oh. Ah. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten very far. I just wanted to get footage of that deformed smurf. Totally worth it. The problem is they're actually a little bit faster than you two. And then when you combine that with the fact that there's like an enemy that can actually undo your progress, like there's like this weird stamper thing, it's not leaving prints everywhere where it goes. I don't think there's any way to get rid of it. This game is uh, not great. Whoa. By all rights, I should have beaten the level by now. But we can't have nice things because stupid stamper guy. Oh, that did it. Might be able to beat this level then. That was worth four points. That was worth eight points. I think that's the first time in human history anyone has beaten a level of brush roller. I'm very proud of myself. Okay, reset. <laughs> it was a good double kill. Oh, every time I reset, I'm terrified because this stupid thing isn't working right. Mortal Kombat 4, because we need to. I've seen a version of this that is just completely messed up where all the background tiles are just random numbers. <laughs> You know, it, it's weird though, like, how many actual good fighting games did the NES have? Like, two? If you count imports? It had, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fighters, and, uh... It had, uh, Joy Mech Fight. And that would be about it. Ah. I've got a trouble button. I can just do this all day night. Wolf. It has more blood than the original Mortal Kombat did on the or on the SNES. That's the one thing this game has going for it. The sad thing is, I think you probably have to go through the entire roster of all like 50 guys that it has for some reason, See, which is not appealing. Aside from the fact I'm awful at fighting games and don't care for bad pirate fighting games. Oh, was Cart Fighter on this? I, I don't think Cart Fighter was on this cartridge offhand. That's unfortunate. I don't want to play that now. You're not going to let me win, are you? You're going to cheat just as 
and Shao Kahn does in actual Mortal Kombat. Turbo wins for the most part. Until it doesn't. Then the enemy turns into a freaking SNK fighting game boss and reads all your inputs. I have no idea how he's not taking damage from that. I won. I'm the best at fighting games ever, and no one can say otherwise. Oh god, yeah, you have to go through this entire <laughs> roster to beat the game. I if this game even has, like, a, a proper... ...ending. Like, I, I just can't imagine anyone would actually want to play this long or even code that. Also, since when is Stryker a badass? He's always like one of the lamest characters. I have no idea how I did that, but I will take it as a victory that I did special. Ha! Because Mortal Kombat. Okay. Yeah, we do have Turtle Spiders on here. Oh no. I think this is what I think it is. Yep, this is this game. one of the worst platformers. <laughs> I think this version isn't tweaked, so yeah. Debug mode! I can run around like this if I wanted to. If I recall, there's a version of this... I, I don't think it's this version. I think it's a version on the Genesis that is actually broken. Like, more than you'd think. Because... Uh, like, if you try and beat the game, you can do it, but the moment you do, the entire game, like, just screws up. Okay, we got a battery that'll give us a thunderbolt. The music's actually not half bad here. For what that's worth. It's the bird from, uh, Bird Week, which is on this cartridge, as much as I wish it wasn't. That's an actual Pokemon. Bonk. Can't jump on the rocks. Okay. I'm just gonna jump on... Okay. Sure, fine. Game. We, we will play your completely jankety-ass hitbox game if that's what you want. But just remember, I have debug mode if I want. I could skip the entire level. Jump. The sad thing is, this isn't anywhere near the worst pirate platformer I've ever played. I've played some really awful ones. This one is just bad. But nowhere near as bad as the others. Oh, the life is up. Oh, right. No scrolls one way. Well, guess I can't get that life. I feel like I've seen that sprite somewhere before, but I can't think where. I don't think that's from Zelda. Or Mario. It feels like they're... I think those are supposed to be like club fairies. Oh, and I took double damage. Terrific. That's an appropriate button sound. What? So I can step on those ones, but not the other ones. Because consistency! Jump. Bonk. Oop. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, I, I guess the other ones do look like they have hair sticking up, which I guess acts as spikes. But really, all it looks like is clefairies, which don't look terribly threatening. Alright, we're good. Also, consistent frame rate. What is that? This game certainly doesn't know. Okay. So, I gotta... Okay. Because that cloud will disappear. And yes, you can scroll that button off screen and fall back down there and be trapped until you die. Jump on Waspinator. But this is what people made because they couldn't have Super Mario. Because Nintendo wouldn't allow them to make freaking NESs in Russia. This is what they had to deal with. Or Super Mario 15, where Super Mario is now Joe from Joe and Mac because of reasons. To the point where they'd make a TV show about it. And then when they actually did play Super Mario Bros. or uh, Joe and Mac, they'd make fun of it for being too much of a clone of Super Mario 14. That's a thing that happened. You can find footage of that on the internet because that was a TV show. Because pirate gaming was so popular in Russia back in the day. Levels here is just stupidly long. Okay, I don't know what caused me damage that time, but that's fine. That's okay. Only need one health to get to the end. Also, embedded in a wall because... Collision. Yeah, that looks like it's not at all unfairly designed. I genuinely can't tell which one of those... Now, I think if you die here, you go back to the level 2, which is, uh... Oh, no, this is something else, really. Oh! Ah! Also, the music says there is actually pretty nice, too. I'm gonna have to borrow this for, uh, the actual review. Yeah, okay. Jump. Whoop! Go away, bird week. I'm busy jumping on executors. It's from that one episode of Pokemon where the guy threatened Dash with a gun that one time. Alright, we reset perfectly fine that time. Awesome. Alright, what else do we got here? And you know, if you see something you want to watch, I'm open to suggestions. I'm just recording whatever. Let's see, is there anything particularly good that jumps out at me? I'll probably do G-Abbot. Oh good, Data East. Because Donald Land. Because Hometown World. With hometown hamburger, Mayor McCheese. Because everyone's favorite hamburger mascot has to throw explosives at everything. In addition to having some of the most gross hamburgers ever. Aha! Everything controls like it has ice. And it has like a two second delay on everything. That was a life. Ugh. Hi. Yay. That's not how physics works, spring hamburger thing.
You know, this would actually be almost halfway playable if your weapon didn't have an arc, a timer on it, and everything didn't control like ice with a two second delay. Basically, you know, if this was a competent platformer, it would be a competent platformer. Oh yeah? Where'd you get an Ocarina of Time? This game is not designed for bosses. It's not designed for anything. Ouch. Oh, nice. You got the Master Sword. Where are you going from the start, or, uh... Where did you start from? I'll have to get a copy of Ocarina at some point. It's the only one of my top five favorite Zelda games I don't own. Let's not get eaten by the angry pumpkin. impressive to do those in one sitting. I remember when I first played uh, Ocarina, I don't think I could actually even get out of uh, Kokiri Town when I rented it. And part of that was just because I was afraid to actually go into the Great Deku Tree. But, uh, you know, part of it was also I just like running around Kokiri Town and uh, listening to the music. And then it took me about 10 years before I actually ever beat the game, just because, first of all, you know, people stop renting games. Hey! Terrible, greasy food I can eat. Oh, I got a hamburger. <laughs> Let's exit. I don't know how this was ever released as a game. This is just one of the most baffling things. And I mean, it's Data East, so I, I'm willing to accept that it's probably not the best quality ever. Also, that face. Like... That's just... That's perfect, is what that is. I'm not actually touching anything on the control in the direction pad anyway. That was just, you know, once you pick a direction, your character pretty much just keeps going in that direction forever. Ah, you didn't go and get a Hylian shield. Yeah, you can lose it in the Dodongo's cavern pretty easily. That's it. Uh, with the exception of the fights with uh, the Lizzle pose. There really aren't that many areas where I thought there was ever a need. That jump is way too wide. Screw you, Donald Land. Uh, what else do we have? What would be good? I'd like to find the Mahjong game that has, er, Mahjong? No, not Mahjong, um, Othello, just for the opening. Oh, we got Hammer and Harry. Let's play some Hammer and Harry. Well, that's one way to certainly do it. game plays, I think, at about twice the speed because it's the European version. Because there is no North American version, of course. 
Yeah, running through the dungeons real quick will certainly the needless markup shopping mall. <laughs> Someone was having fun when we did this. <laughs> you know, there aren't a lot of really difficult areas in that game, so ultimately going through holes like they're nothing. It's certainly something that could realistically happen. Bonk. I have a big smacking hammer. I care not for your leads. That's another way you can tell this is the English version. The voice clips are different. Gotta save my health for the boss. Whoops. Well, there that goes. Let's not get by that if we can help it. Got a gun. Because that's fair. Hit things, but don't hit the girl. It's really sad if we never got this in North America. It's a great game. I don't think we got any of the other games in this series aside from this one, too. The rusty nailers. <laughs> rusty nail land. That doesn't sound pleasant. So many games on here, and I've played them all. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's where that helmet would have come in handy for sure. All right. Uh, helicopter. Oh, dear lord, we gotta play this. 
horrible piece of garbage. I know everyone likes to say Sunsoft is awesome. This is the counter argument to that. This game is awful. And that's the sad thing, like, Sunsoft is only really good on the NES. But this is just awful. We haven't even gotten to the worst part of it yet. <laughs> Alright. Almain. As the game tries to spell itself out. Try and at least get to the awful level. But yeah, like they made stuff like gimmick. All respect to gimmick. All respect to Hebereke, But man, this game is intolerable. And pretty much everything they did on the Super Nintendo was just bad knockoff mascot platformers. But maybe I'm just bitter because I didn't like Arrow the Acrobat too much. Or Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel. Lenami. get to the bad level. What is this? Like, what is this nonsense, realistically? The sad thing is I've seen games that actually hack this level entirely and completely change all this nonsense, and it's actually more playable. This is what it should look like. This is like one of the worst looking things, I think, on the NES. Oh, it's so hard to see what you're even supposed to be trying to jump at. Well, it's not even horrible level design, it's horrible level design compiled with just bizarre visual design. This is just intolerably bad. Oh. It's so hard to tell what you're supposed to jump on in that. That's so bad. Alright. What else do we have that we can play? Well, we have 403 games to play, obviously, but... Let's see. We can play Red Hood. I don't want to. We could. Uh, Antarctic Adventure... Puyon. Warp Man, that's a game I don't understand. Urban Champion, one of the few. Ooh! Orchard Kavas, one of the weirdest bad nice code games with weirdly good presents to start welcome, level one. This is actually just a um, recreation of a intelligent game called Puzzlemers, but it's fun. And the music is, for a nice code game, actually good. Which really isn't saying much, but there's significantly worse nice code games. Even more atrocious music out there. I actually quite like Orchard Kavas for what it is. It's probably the best thing nice code ever put out. That's because it's trying to be an actual competent game. 
Even though it's stealing sprites from Donkey Kong 3, I believe. At least the worms are from there. Two complete. I don't know if it's on this cartridge or not, but I know there's a version of this where if you like proceed to a certain point, the game just completely crashes. It just can't handle it. It like kill screens itself. It wasn't properly programmed. Because pirate games. What do you think they're made competently? Especially. Orchard Cavas. Although you can never have enough Orchard Cavas. Let's see. There's so many things we could be playing right now. Question is, what do we want to play? Uh, Exerian, Antarctic Adventure. Macross? Oh, I don't want to play Macross, ever. I think this is the Othello I'm looking for. Yup. Bitcorpse Othello. If you remember the awesome brush roller face, oh, just you wait. Because this exists. <laughs> Oh, pirate games, what are what is with you and your just terrible artwork? God, this is special. <laughs> That's the best thing about this, honestly, because it's Othello. It's a game I know very little about. All I know is you try and get the corners. And you can work opposite of... Uh, Areas of attack that you've already got. Hmm. Grab that one. bad at Othello, if you can't tell. And you got the corner, which is absolutely the spot you gotta have the most. Crap. the best place to put my piece be. I'm gonna grab that one. So he can't. I 
think that means he can grab that corner piece, though, which is less than ideal. I can grab this one. Also, the numbers up top are completely messed up. Just noticed that. That's fun. Exceptionally not ideal for us. Ouch. I'm not good at Othello. I'm really hoping that's clear. <laughs> Don't break, reset, yay! All right, what else do we have on here that would be fun to play? And I've got uh, two things I definitely wanted. I definitely want to get Dain Shimali. I think that's near the end. I want to say that would be right around here. Yeah, here it is. Diane Shimali. I actually can't play this because it requires two controllers, if I recall, but. It's a good old big TV Mary Bar. Push start too rich. I actually can't play this because I need a second controller, unfortunately. Well, I could actually start swapping the controller ports, but given how shaky this thing seems to be holding together, I don't want to do that right now. Alright, what else do we have that would be fun? Let's go down, 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 down. I think this is that badass Karopi game. That's uh, Wagyan Land, but with Karopi. That seems to be half translated. Suddenly monsters from the game appeared. That's convenient. Yoshi's Island. But it wasn't. Alright, it's two words, not one. Okay, let's cross the mountain. Controller seems to be doing a funny thing. I guess we're gonna have to try and unplug and re plug in my controller, preferably without breaking the console. Because for whatever reason, it seems to think we're moving to the left. Nope, it still seems to be doing that. Let's try again and see if that's still a thing. Yeah, for some reason it just decided that I was going to the left. Alright, it was around here, I think. Here it is. Let's try this again. If it doesn't work, we'll play something else. That's fine, but... I actually wanted to play some Wagyan Frogs. 
Nope, it still seems to think we're going to the left. That's okay, I guess. We'll play something else. Okay. Oh, so many really bad ones. I think Dejectile is kind of okay. Bad, nice code games. Except this one's Bomberman, so it's kind of tolerable. I swear this song is from something, but I don't know what. Ba 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 ba. Yeah. But it's basically Bomberman, but with tanks and a guy who dejectiles them, I guess. That's pretty good, 3 to 5 viewers for Ocarina. I'm kinda of surprised it's not more though, that's a pretty popular game. Yeah, this one is actually Bomberman, they just changed all the visuals and music. I'm pretty sure if you beat the game, it still has the same Bomberman ending too. Or they even mention it, Bomberman by name. So it's not the most thoroughly hacked game, but it's it's one of the better ones. The sad thing is out of everything Nice could put on here other than Orchard Kavas, this is probably the only other playable thing they've got. I guess that's true. I, I do play a lot of stuff late, which is probably not helping my viewership much, unfortunately. Oh no, my dejectile got dejectiled in. Uh-oh. Actually, the music to this isn't horrible. Which again, per nice code is weird. They usually have like the worst music ever. Tile. Yeah. I'd imagine that's probably most of it. Or people who just stay up really, really late, like I do. Ooh, we have Quarth. Quarth is fun. I think I could quarth. I'm doing 
so not good at this. ring. That's always a good one. I did a gameplay video with this multi-cart of our kiss's ring. Yeah, Quarth is great. It, it's a mix between a puzzle game and a shooter. Great game made by Konami, I believe. Unfortunately, Outside of, I want to say the Game Boy version, it wasn't released in North America. Which is a real shame, because Quarth is actually a great game if you're into shooters and puzzle games. I just happen to be terrible both. It's one of the more interesting puzzle games. As well. Definitely a high stress environment, though. game. It's kind of like, uh, 
very simplified Zelda, kind of like tied with like Gauntlet a little bit. Ah. That's right, I have the magic wand. Guess item hoarding. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Have a good night, Sykes. It was fun uh, playing this with you. Stupid mages down. underground things get kind of tricky. Just ninjas. Or zombies or whatever they are. So I know there are some that are like fake and like to trick you. Great, full health. Because they're fake stairs. Uh, yeah, welcome to the annoying parts of Artistus Ring. Alright, stage six. Still underground. Our color's like just a giant pit of enemies. like one area where there's just like this corridor full of enemies very much like Gauntlet. something. But what? I'm not sure. Oh, I got a shield, it looks like. Still no key, though. Key? Nope, no key. for a little bit more anyway. I think I might do this another night as well just to get more footage. I've already got a lot of the important stuff I wanted to get. Oh, what would be fun? What would be interesting? 
what would be yeah I think we gotta play some Jackie Chan cuz Jackie Chan's action kung fu this game's amazing I gotta say, aside from the limited palette, if you told me this was a Super Nintendo game, I would probably believe you. another game I'd like to get a copy of, but this game's actually really rare. Now the special stages actually changed when they ported this from the PC Engine to the NES. Because originally they were just uh, on a static screen that would appear when you just had to jump on clouds. This time you actually have to platform from them. And if you fall off them, you're kind of... you're not entirely out of luck, but it's a lot harder to recover from. Whereas originally they were kind of by design allowed to do that. This kind of doesn't afford you that. So we got some lives. Or some lives. We got, uh, yeah, we did get some lives. Nice. I was gonna say we got some points. Music to this game's great too. Punch! Spinny! Uh, that wasn't useful at all. Spinning! Oh, you can just hold it and it'll keep going. Okay. Basically a shield. I can work this up. Jump. Take that new Chaku. Woo! Oh, I wanted this so much. is throwing new Chaku at me. I find that offensive. Oops. Take that archer hiding under a hole for reasons that aren't ill explained to me. Oh. Scrolling and mice. Also, seriously, I'm, I'm just listening to the music right now, it's so good. As a Hadouken. I totally forgot about that. Of course, Jackie Chan has a Hadouken. Why wouldn't he? Frog! Soup! Oh no! Okay, stop scrolling. I mean, I thought I was gonna snap scroll upwards. I've played a few games that do that, and it's not good when it happens. Oh, 
Oh yeah, roundhouse kicks. Very angry Buddha. Very goofy face. game. <laughs> Maybe I'll do some more of this tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, what else would be fun to do? Uh, let's see. Metal Fighter's not a bad game. Banana Prince, that would be a fun game if it were actually in English. Uh, all the Kunio Kun games. Low G Man, the Low Gravity Man. I'll have you know. I got Kabuki Quantum Fighter. Yeah, I think we need to play some Kabuki Quantum Fighter. I reviewed this back in the day. This is like the only NES game I've ever seen with a box. Great music, great sprite work, and if you like Ninja Gaiden, this is kind of sort of analogous to it in a way. Plus, you get to place a cybernetic Kabuki warrior whose main attack is head banging. There's nothing about that that isn't awesome. Whoop. Whoop. Alright. Gotta save all the power for Ken for the boss. We absolutely need them. This is one of those games where you absolutely need to basically save every power you can. Since the bosses are just kind of mean. It's annoying because this would be a perfect place for one. Crap. Alright. Okay. Weird face with sunglasses, that's enough. This game's also, like, crazy geigery. You can't even tell from this level, but later it looks like it's, like, really very alien looking. Whoop! Yeah, you can't even duck those attacks. It's not a perfect game by any means. For a game, most people would basically just say knock off Ninja Gaiden. It's, um, it's a lot better than that. Alright, so we're gonna use powers. Just cause I really do need to actually, you know, survive. Something about the smoothness of that uh, flip animation he's got, too. I, I really like that. Oh crap, yep, these guys are tough to fight. And then we're going to start. I'll get one more go and then I'll be it. Take you out. There we go. Oh. 
have turbo control again. Don't make me use it. Yeah, this robot dog's a little mean. We got more chips, which we need for special attacks. And banging for justice. Okay, screw it. save every one of those for the boss. So using them was probably not the best move. Uh -oh. Play this part cautiously. to be. I don't like them too much. They're short and that makes them hard to hit. I prefer my targets to be easy to hit. But we do get a bit of a health refill, which is nice. And a bit of a weapon ammo refill. But it's still important that we save everything we got. Spam melee, and you can take him out until he gets all supercharged. And that's not good. There we go. And we get a new weapon because this game likes to be like Mega Man sometimes. That's what we got. Unfortunately, that takes away from our ability to headbang, and we kind of need that because the thing about weapons in this game is they're very much like Mega Man in the sense that you get one for every boss you kill, and you always want to use the uh, previous weapon you got on the next boss. So you don't really want to ever spend your energy if you can help it. Alright, let's go. Okay, I was hanging out down here. Yeah, I don't think we can kill this guy. Or it's just ridiculous, seriously. Nice laughing skulls in the background. Actually, these little, uh, water holes are moving too. Except it's, it's a very geiger -y game when you look at the aesthetic in some later levels. Whoop! Let's not go down there. It's an angry staple remover. Okay, what we want to do is... in there. And not get hit by that guy, but we did. Like the same for staple remover. What, what can you do? Punch them, that's what you can do. Uh, horrible crab person. The top of that uh, column will kill you, so don't get that buzzsaw. It's a bad idea, typically. Now I got a little bit more ammo. And we don't have an immediate boss, but now we've got vertical scrolling. 
don't like stupid vertical scrolling, which you can fall down and you end up hating life because it takes forever. This time, you want to fall down. This is actually kind of nice and progressive. The only problem is that the screen doesn't scroll fast enough, so you kind of end up blindsided by everything behind you, or behind it, but below you. Oh. This one pit, for whatever reason, reminds me of the pit at the beginning of Iceman Steam Mega Man. I don't like that one. But there's not much we can do about that. Except keep running into five saws like this bad as. If you're going up against the boss, you should probably equip the best weapon we've got. And we don't have a lot of health. So this is going to be kind of a Hail Mary sort of thing. We'll see what we can do to make this work. has been an hour and a half of praying that the Retron 3 doesn't explode, and it didn't. After I managed to actually get it to work after about 20-40 seconds of fiddling with the power button. And once I powered off, it might never power on again. I hope that's not the case, especially because I would like to do more of this tomorrow, maybe. Um, but I guess we will see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do streams every single night. Plus, uh, slightly more random, on-the-spot stuff like this. This was just sort of a, you know, I wanted to do this, let's do it, uh, sort of thing. You might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, including full coverage of 401 games on one cartridge. It took a year and a bloody half, but I did it. And uh, I'm, I'm currently in the process of trying to figure out what pirate multi-card I should go into next. Hopefully that the... Uh, Retron 3 will survive so that I can actually do that. If not, I might have to find something else that can uh, do that. I'm not wildly hopeful about that, but hopefully. And uh, if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon and support the show any way you can, which will get yourself on the Discord where I'm actually allowing my supporters to decide for me which multi-carts I'm going to be playing in the near future, just like we decided this one and this whole segment. So if you want to have a voice in what multi-carts you get to see and, you know, explore with me, it, it might be good to help support the show a little bit more directly and get your voice heard. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.